Coming up on Metrophile this week, Owo has a new king and he is your lover of Owo, His Royal Majesty, Oba Ajibade Badegeshi Ogunye. The Nigerian Post Authority celebrates members of staff with long service and merit awards. Plus, the children of late Chief Sunday Oriana and late Chief Mrs. Catherine Oriana celebrate their life and legacy. All right, we are back here again. Welcome to Metrophile and welcome to this show that is all about the celebration side of life. Glad to have you always on this beautiful ride. I will be doing this alone this week, but I can assure you, and I guess from what you have seen from the sneak peek, that we would be having a great time. But for the next 30 minutes, we'll be celebrating achievements. But while we do that, we kindly ask our sensitive viewers to watch out for flash images. Once again, welcome to the show. I am Ogech Kwasi. And we are kicking off the celebration of on Metrophile this week in the Asian town of Owo, you know, in those states. Let's go experience the beauty of their culture and tradition as they install their new king, their lover of Owo, His Royal Majesty, Oba Ajibade Badegeshi Ogunye. Now he is the 32nd monarch to ascend the throne. Enjoy. A couple of weeks ago, the Asian town of Owo in Ondo State, southwest Nigeria, was agog with indigents excited about the commencement of traditional rites for the installation of the new king. <laughs> the residents of Owo, dressed in different colorful attires, took to the streets chanting, singing, and dancing in celebration of their new monarch, the Olowo of Owo, His Royal Majesty Ajibadi Badigeshi Ogunye, as the 32nd ruler of the town. The emergence of Obajibadi Ogunye as the new Olowo of Owo Kingdom follows the death of His Royal Majesty Dr. Victor Folagbade Olatero Lagbegi III. I am extremely happy. And uh, judging from what has happened, and you know, Chief Tansi in Owo, so Louis, uh, <clears throat> he comes with a lot of, uh, you know, but this time around we have very peaceful uh, uh, installation and uh, to me God has actually sent us a preferred cabbage. The historical throne of Owo is ruled by an heir from one of the ruling houses, often appointed by kingmakers, who play a significant role in installing the monarch. It's a new dawn, as the palace also wears a new look, having been renovated in preparation for the new king. These chiefs perform the installation rites, being the custodians of the Owa tradition. He has uh, successfully picked the sword of his uh, fa uh, father that uh, reigned uh, about uh, 20 years or 30 years ago, which is a very, very significant situation for Owa. Rites and prayers are offered for the new king in some sacred parts of the town. 
for 17 days it will be undergoing this a traditional process in the palace but then it's not going to be a long one going around like this then after 10 a.m he will sit down on his throne we will now come and salute we call it salutation not greeting now salutation so he will do that for 17 days on the seventh day he will now bear his crown that's the day of the coronation which comes to 8th of september by the grace of god The 8th of September finally comes, the dawn of a new era for the people of the town who have not stopped celebrating since the new king was announced. Top government officials, including the Ondo State Governor Oluwa Rotimi Akeridolu, other politicians, traditional rulers, religious leaders, business leaders are part of this historical event. The ceremony which was held within the palace premises was accompanied by music and dance. A crowd of well-wishers and visitors from outside or and beyond thronged the town to witness the grand coronation ceremony of the new Olowovowo, His Royal Majesty Ajibade Badegeshi Ogunye. The new monarch takes his seat alongside his Oluri, Adenike, after which different groups pay homage, beginning with princes and princesses of the ruling houses. The heads of the five quarters in the town dressed in their full red traditional regalia, the market women as well as other groups. This is the moment when the king dances to the admiration of all. The Ondo State Governor urges indigents to rally round the king to ensure that he has a peaceful reign. This is our best decision ever. We love Akagesi. All of us love Akagesi. I want to inform all seconders. Get them out here. Get them out here. Never move to the door. You can't. And I want to get them out here. And our traditional musician and her group supply music and dance to entertain the audience, showcasing the rich culture of the ancient town. As part of the Kingmaker, we also rectify him. And so everybody, the whole town, the Kingmaker, the entire town is united behind him. We thank God today that God has shown us overwhelming love. And we are grateful to everybody that came, and particularly our indigenous. We are grateful to them. 
53-year-old Obaji Badegbadegeshi Ogunye was trained as a lawyer and was a permanent secretary in the Ondo State Civil Service before his election as the new king. He defeated 14 other princes to become the Olowo after the death of his predecessor, Oba Victor Folagbade Olatero Olagbegi. It is our desire, in line with my, my mission, to ensure that we continue to work for peace in the kingdom by ensuring that all the divisions within, within uh, all the divisions, the, the different leanings, the different positions are, are, are brought together, are brought together uh, and galvanized towards uh, peaceful coexistence and development of the kingdom. Days later, goodwill messages and visitation continued at the palace. The old girls of St. Catherine's Anglican Girls Grammar School Owa, were among those who came to pay homage. With my colleagues, we are here to congratulate the Oba, the new Oba, Oba Ajibade, for ascending the throne of his forefathers, that God is so benevolent to him. That is why we are here, to say we thank God and we congratulate him. So much love shown to the new king, and here's wishing him a long, peaceful and successful reign. <laughs> All right, may his reign be long and peaceful and we say amen to that.